Hi guys, and welcome to the next episode of the Raid Series, episode 78. Now, um, in the previous episode, we did the Raiders on labs, and we moved into uh, getting some of the grenade kills done. In this episode, we're going to go sniping. Sniping. So, uh, at the end of the last episode, I don't know if it was in the recording or not, but the actual game bugged out. So, I, all my stuff that I had on me uh, got taken off. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, everything I took off me has got, got put back on. So, it's what it is. Uh, we're going to go with the Remington this time. I'm going to top load it as well. And uh, we'll see what ammo we can use. We've got some M80 there, M62s. I like M62s for sniping. Because you get... Because um, you get... Uh, what do you call it? Traces. So, M62 is good to go. Already got M62 in there. We've got some extra ammo down there. Now, we are. I want to go shoreline first. So... Um, I'm going to go like this and like this and I'm going to take my shoreline keys just because I can cool um, as for helmet we'll take this one and we're pretty much ready to go I'm not really too stressed about backpacks what I'll do is I'll wear this one so we have a backpack but it's not really needed and uh, that golden star will get us out if we need to um, besides that we uh, still have the fuel from the previous one, but we can we can top it up with a little bit more if we wanted to. I think we'll hold out for now. I want to have a look at... Um, I'm pretty sure it's full of fuel, so... Yeah, Bitcoin should just about be done. 10 minutes away, so we'll do that before the end of the episode. Might go out in... Cool. And then um, we've still got the moonshine crank in there. So we're all good. All right, so the objective is shoreline. We're going to be sniping. We're going to be getting up our sniper skill and also going for a shooter born in heaven. Um, three headshots from over 100 meters away. I've got a few tactics for this, and I'll explain them as I go. And uh, hopefully you guys will learn a lot from it. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So, the way sniping levels up is by, um, every time you get a hit on someone, they take damage, and they take damage, you get about 0.6 to 1 skill point on the first hit, and then it reduces every hit after that. On top of that, you can keep chambering rounds over and over again in the top, like I can on this rifle, that's why I picked the M700, <coughs> and each re-chamber will get you about 1, uh, 0.1 skill point, so... With a maximum of about four skill points per level, that's about the most you're going to get uh, per raid. Oh, sorry, four skill points per raid is the most amount you're going to get per raid. So after about five or six hits, you pretty much capped that out. Now, the objective of uh, of this for me is I'm going to be trying to get Shooter Born in Heaven done. Now, there's a few tactics I use for this. Um, one of them is I sit on top of that hill over there and I wait for players to come and uh, kill the either the players, the scavs at power station or I head down to uh, new gas if I hear shooting down there. Um, I'm going to probably shoot the scavs here. Oh, and by the way, you can do multiple hits on the same scav to uh, level up your sniper skill as well. Doesn't all have to be clean one hits. Um, the fact that I didn't hear any scavs or see any scavs. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get to my spot because it's personally the spot works really well for me. So sniper scav doesn't seem to be up. They might get some late spawn scavs. But the objective is to uh, use scavs as our knowledge to uh, where the players are at. So we're gonna go sit on this hill over here. So you can hear the shots up in uh, resort. Now you can do this with thermal sights as well. So I used to, I usually like to sit about about here.
Now what we're waiting for is we're waiting for any shots to happen down at the uh, at the gas station. Any shots at uh, power station. We're watching literally the same path that we came up along here. Now, personally, I don't like to change my zero either. I, what I do is I um, just aim higher. Must be clipping that somehow. I like to try and stay in the shadows as much as I can too. Now the beauty of um, all those kill scav guides, uh, video, uh, sorry, kill scav tasks is power station is very frequent with uh, with players. Another place you can watch out for is on top of this rock. A lot of players will run down to that rock. I'll probably only spend maybe max 20 minutes in a raid. It sucks that they are... Uh, I would actually leave that scav up there normally if he's up there. Because he wasn't up there, I just ran straight across here, but. It's like all the fighting's up at the uh, the resort, which kind of sucks. We're we'll watching out the back here for anyone coming up here, heading up to the resort. Your idea is you actually use the scavs to um, bait the players, and then quite quickly you can get the kills done. Just got to make sure you kind of try and. You try your best to position yourself in locations where players will always be 100 meters away. Why oh, I like this spot so much. Look at dead player there, but it's. Can't really figure out where those grenades are going off. I think it is in the resort. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push all the way down to the coast uh, spot just to see if we can find any in docks or uh, or the pier.
Have a look at the island, see if anyone's out in the island. There's a gav there, we could probably take your shots at for a bit of fun. Probably say the bottom. And just a touch high. So we're gonna I wanna hit him in the leg. Oh, he's in the stomach. Oh, he's dead now. Just wanted to get a couple of hits. Not just kill him instantly, you know. And there's our top load, just to... Keep leveling it up. We might be a little bit unlucky on this one and just have... Uh... Oh, there we go. Just too high. I thought he looked at me for a second, then I was a bit worried, so. All right, I'm gonna rotate just around to the side here. Keep looking to the right there, see if we can get a silhouette of someone. Might have rushed that shot just a little bit, but I also thought he might have been looking at me and I didn't want to risk him. He's killing me. Now he would have to do a big run to go around the back to hit the power station, so... It's possible. We did cut across pretty quick, so we probably would have seen him running if he was just running straight along. My, my first assumption is he's probably still down that way. Potentially he might have just gone down to the road and... Thought he might do a dash. What I might do is I'll run back around. See if we can find him at all. Trying to stay on the back side of the hill as much as possible. It was a bit of a missed opportunity right there. Constantly keep looking. Appears he doesn't want to go back there, so... Hmm.
Right. It's been a little bit of a lame one because normally the scabs are here, so then if people are pulling in here, they'd you know be triggering all the scabs there, so you'd get to try and line up a shot there. We haven't had any luck with that. No one doing their quest down at the pier and that. We couldn't hear any shots down there. We saw the one guy. We overshot it. That sounds like a tunnel. So I'm going to just make a start making a dash for there. Unlikely I'll be able to get there in time to shoot someone. But you never know. They might get held up by looting or... Dude, we killed. That was either a tunnel or um Sweet. What? Okay, that was a touch low. Or it wasn't 100. Nah, it's definitely 100 meters. Ah! There's a touch low. Oh well. I'm used to doing this with the Mosin, so. Let me grab the dog tag real quick. Restart the raid. Trying to see if there's another scab we could hit just to get the uh, skill points, but. I would normally turn to the left, but I'm just going to have a quick look up here, see if there's anyone we can shoot. Alright. Mistakes were made. I, uh... I overshot the other guy's head, and then that one must have just been too low. I must have hit him, like, top of the thorax. Oh, that's sucky. It is what it is. I think it's fairly straightforward though. We uh we ran straight to where I'd like to ha hang out. Took some shots, running back and forth. Thorax. Ah, oh, out. That would have been nice. All right, we'll just go again. So, not a skill, 18.2. I think we got about four skill points for that one. And not gonna mess about, let's get into the next raid. Let's go. All right, so, same strategy as last time. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get some kills. Um, now, if you do spawn on this side, the one option you do have is going on the roof. I don't really find it a great strategy. I'd rather run straight through the resort 
and then try and pick people off as they're doing other stuff. But it is a very risky move. I'm not going to lie. I always like to um, just do a, a, a quick reload when I get in on the uh, sniping missions. Even though I know it's already full, but at least then if I die before I even take a shot, I know that I progressed in some little way towards getting my quest done. Point one of a skill point. Now you also do have the option of going up on that rock and trying to snipe people from up there. It's not the worst idea, um, particularly with all the people that come from this side. I just don't know if it's 100 meters or not. I'm literally just going to have a quick sticky... I just wanted to have a quick sticky beacon here for a uh, red key card and anything of value. Right. Probably not the smartest move, but... I wonder. Fuck, I'm dead. There's already someone up on the second floor. Or third floor, 301. Fuck me. Just stay away from the resort if you're trying to do your sniping tasks. It's fucking wasteful. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have even wasted my time there, guys. I need to stick to the objective. The best play actually would have been to go around the left-hand side of the resort, go on the high ground and watch people try and run in and hope that I can get a 100 meter headshot there. But yeah. Is what it is. That was a wasted opportunity. All right, we do have a few Mosins, I think. I would use this Remington, but the thing that would make me want to use it more is a different side on it. So, link search. I'd, I'd much rather use a Voodoo. Um... Need M62 ammo. Go like this. Cool. Reload the mag when we're in there. And helmet. Schmog. I'm pretty much ready to go. It's got a, I think it's maybe some meds. I want to grab that Bitcoin before I forget. Um. Cool. How do we look? Maybe we put something like this on. There we go. Now we look like a sniper. Taco of RP. Let's go. Right. Now there is actually an option you do have here, which is to go up on top of that. Um, and try and get people that way. But we're going to try and keep moving. I 
want to move nice and quick. Hold up a minute. Fish shooting over on that hill. It's on the other side of that. Let's just get ourselves on top of this hill. A little bit here. Oh, it's not really the best. the best spot to see someone but oh, we need to reload don't we I don't like the fact there's a tree in the way there's this trees in the way If wasn't for that, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, that's good news. I think I can go on top of this hill now and shoot down at him. There he is. Long shot. Oh my god, there's fucking heaps. Right, there's one. That had to be a headshot. Yep, sweet. It was a four man. Did they just go, fuck it, leave his body?
Three guys just don't disappear. The fuck are they? The only thing I can think of is they just said, fuck this, let's get out. Wait, let's just leave him. Oh, they're covering the body. There he is. I'm fucking sliding on a rock. It's not a position I really want to be sitting, but... Alright, I was going... I reckon two and a half. Alright, I'm going to try and get around the back here. Might be able to see a little better. I still see the body. Not sure. I don't want to take the shot here. Given the opportunity. This is the best spot. That was a bad shot. We're, got, we're definitely two and a half. I need, I need to breathe for a sec. Oh my god. Stamina. I don't want to lose these guys. What? I swear that hit his helmet. That hit him. Alright, we need to reload. That'll give me to get some stamina back. That must have just missed. I don't know if that last one got him or not. No. Fuck. Interested in seeing which direction they go from here. I definitely hit him a couple times. Oh my god. They got a death wish. I'm gonna try. Hmm. I think they got a they got a sword on me after that last tracer. 
Alright, we reposition. Oh, they hit me. So where we're gonna do the? They're charging me. I can hear them. So I gotta, I gotta move quick now. I gotta get across that dead ground on the other side of this, or I'm dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The only problem is now they have the high ground, but. What? That was a headshot. How was that not a headshot? Oh my god. I'm a little bit dirty about that. That must have ricocheted or something. Or it must have hit like the top of his arm. Legged him. Gonna keep the same pattern going on. Take some shots. Keep on moving. The only thing that I'm doing wrong now is I'm actually continuing going down the same line. So, for example, if they wanted to cut me off, they probably could. What I want to do now is a little bit cheeky. I want to lay on top of the other body that we've already killed.
Wonder if they've given up. Be some blood marks up here. I think they're still up there. I don't think they would have pushed um, below ground again. Which would definitely make getting the 100 meter headshots harder. I can't believe one of those shots didn't count as a headshot. Two of them look like I've got clean headshots. I don't think they were geared to go resort. I actually think they were going to like power station and stuff to kill scabs, so. Be interesting seeing what happens from there. I wanna get some uh, hits off. Gab's angry. Maybe they did push back down. But they didn't go to power station. It is possible they might have gone down to here. I thought, fuck it, it's not worth chasing a ghost. Because I'm the ghost. Hmm. Oh my god, they're still up there. Come on, get complacent.
Trying to get him to look this way. Oh my god, I missed. I'm dead. Fuck! <sighs> it was a good good little fight. Oh. I, as soon as he saw me and he stopped and I missed that shot, I should have moved because um, his teammates are on the angles and stuff. There was four of them in total, so we only killed one. That sucks. We hit him, we hit him three times. Sorry, five times. Five times, but one was the scab. So four hits. Four hit. I swear some of those shots. I know one was definitely a leg shot, but two of them looked like they hit the helmet. Oh my God. He hit me with an AKM. Fair enough. But it was good fun. It was good fun. I should have removed. The, the M4 bait was perfect. I got him to run over there. I just fucked the shot. I should have been laying in a bush too, if I was going to bait like that. Um, but it is what it is. It was good fun though. Good fun. We only got the one. How many uh, skill points to get from that? Sniping. I think we got about four again. I think we're on 17 or something. So we've got another four skill points. I have to, I, I have to check. But we'll slowly get it up to the next level. Um, once we get to the next level, then we can do tuck off shooter part five six seven eight so it kind of makes it so we've got a bit more of an objective um but yeah got one of the uh 100 meter headshots at least it will we will get it done pretty quick it's just we had a little bit of bad luck i took some bad shots and also they were smart they didn't stop moving if they'd stopped moving long enough for me to actually get a good clean shot off they were dead but they always moved and what i tried to do is i get tried to get myself on 90 degrees because what they were doing is they were going left to right a lot. Um, they also need to go back and forward a little bit because it makes it so when they go left and right, if you can get 90 degrees to them, you can get that headshot. And I swear to God, I smacked one on the side of the head, but maybe he just upper arm. I don't know. Uh, anyway, guys, usual drill. Thanks for watching another episode. Smash the like button. Subscribe for future content. Um, stream on Twitch every day of the week. Go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. Talk any questions. Hit me up on the live stream. Or in the comments below. And lastly, see you next time.